Your side weather deck is brought to you by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. Welcome back. Feeling a little refreshing after yesterday's high humidity across West Michigan. A lot of us were in the 70s, even some 80s across the area as we uh, hit those highs Saturday. But today, a little cooler, although feeling pretty comfortable. The biggest change you'll notice is that humidity. So let's take a look at the weather ball. We have a solid green today. No change for seen to temperatures. And this view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Cloudy skies across West Michigan for this morning. We did see a little bit of sun as it came up. What we'll see today, though, is more sun to the north. And farther south, the chance for a shower or two. Fremont, you're looking pretty cloudy right now, 59. So pretty comfortable start. Many of us in the 60s this morning and many of us dealing with those clouds. But again, up to the north, you'll see a little bit of breakage in those. And we'll see and expect more sunshine as we get into the afternoon. But what we are watching is the system to the south. This one is moving mainly east. But we are concerned with the possibility of a few of those showers popping up near I-94, even as far north as I-96. And you notice a couple of these little pop up showers right now. Whether those are making it to the ground or not is pretty questionable. But off to the south, Kalamazoo County, you did see a couple passing showers already, and we may see more. This model has those showers reaching as far north as almost Grand Rapids, almost Holland. So it's still a question as to whether we'll see a passing shower. If you see anything near I-96, it won't last long. The better chance is going to be south near I-94. And then going into the evening hours, this is 6 p.m. This is the end of the shower chances. So fireworks tonight should be no problem. Any outdoor events tonight should be just fine. Heading into tomorrow, we start off with a mix of sun and clouds and we'll see a mainly dry start to the day. I would say dry until about the middle of the afternoon, and that's your best chance to see these showers and storms. 5 p.m. here on the model, they're coming into the lakeshore inland too, and there's some heavy rain there, some strong storms possible as those pass on through. We'll see on and off showers continuing into Tuesday, but those temperatures at least staying on the warm side. Temperatures today heading into the 70s, those winds staying light too, picking up in the overnight, and tomorrow you've got easterly winds up to 25 miles per hour for those uh, gusts. So we are getting a little bit gusty into Memorial Day. Temperatures not too bad, staying about the same into the low to mid 70s. Lake Michigan staying pretty quiet today. Again, you may see a thunderstorm passing through from Holland off to the south, but waves it a foot all across the lakeshore areas. Temperatures in the water in the 40s to 50s, not exactly warm out there, but air temperatures not feeling too bad. Mid 60s to low 70s possible. 72 in Holland, 69 in uh, Muskegon today into the inland locations. Most of us making 70. It'll be a close call in Baldwin. Farther south, mid 70s possible, like 74 in Grand Rapids and Ionia today. Your 13 on your side forecast shows those temperatures stay about seasonal numbers through the next several days. But the next several days bring chances for showers too. Tuesday, probably the driest in the next couple. And then Wednesday, we will see a better chance for showers for everybody. Going into next weekend, we do have spotty showers Saturday and Sunday. I think it's going to be a low chance, but looking at your temperatures, pretty comfortable in the 70s.